So you're thinking about moving to Idaho Falls, but you're wondering what's it really like to live in Idaho Falls? Like give me some insider scoop kind of stuff. Well, that's what this video is all about. I have lived here for about two years. I'm not native to Idaho and I'm gonna tell you all the things of what it's really like to be here in Idaho Falls. Ready? Let's go. Number one, it's a conservative town. I'm talking small town feels. It's not the smallest town in the world, but it is 60,000 people, which is very different than even just Boise a few hours away, which is hundreds of thousands of people. And so Idaho Falls is smaller, smaller buildings, slower pace of living, things shut down on Sundays, there are less things to do, but you also have this tight-knit community, a community of people who really care. They really care about you, your animals, your children. They're looking out for one another, and it, you will see it almost every day on the Idaho Falls Facebook group when somebody loses a dog or a wallet or something, and the community comes together to find those things, and they help one another out. It really is a true service mindset. So with it being a conservative community, the culture here is all about God, guns, and freedom. So what that means is people openly talk about the freedom and right to have guns, hunting, and recreational shooting of all kinds. Guns and ammo is a hot topic here in Idaho Falls. So if you're not used to that in other places that aren't so gun friendly, that'll be a big shock if you're moving here. Also, God is a big topic as well, which brings me to the second topic of what it's really like to live in Idaho Falls, and that's religion. People love God here. It's a strong, strong Christian community. There are other religions that aren't Christian, but it's mostly Christian, very heavy on the Christian side. And even more, if you dive a little bit deeper, it's very heavy on the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint side of things. And if you know what that is, they're also known as Mormons. And you'd say, oh, well, that's, that's what Utah is all about, right? Well, Idaho is just north of Utah and Idahoans have a lot of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints here. And if you're not used to being around a lot of the same type of people in the same type of religion and not a lot of variety or different viewpoints, this, this, might, be, this might be a surprise. And so this is, this is what it's really like to live in Idaho Falls. People talk about things like wards and stakes and um, Mormon, Mormon vocabulary that you wouldn't hear in places like California. California or Oregon. So it is a little bit different. There's a lot of people who don't drink uh, alcohol or coffee. You'll see big temples. In fact, right on the Snake River is the big Idaho Falls LDS temple. It's, it's iconic to Idaho Falls, really. So if you're, if you're okay with religion being all around you and people being outspoken about God and, and two, two little two guys with little name tags coming to your door and offering to help mow your lawn for you. <laughs> Um, that's that's what Idaho Falls is all about. So it's very service oriented, tight knit, conservative community. They care about their guns, they care about their freedom, and of course, God. Okay, now I know what you're really waiting for is number three, what is it really like in regards to the weather? Is it really as bad as people say it is? I would say yes and no. Let's talk about the winter. It snows and it's cold and it's windy. That's normal for winter. Idaho does have all four seasons. And so when people say, oh, it's too cold in Idaho. I don't wanna live in Idaho. I don't wanna, I don't wanna snow. I don't wanna deal with the snow and the wind and the ice all year round. That is absolutely false. So what it's really like to live in Idaho Falls is you've got four seasons. Winter starts around October. It's kind of a blend of fall and winter. Right now I'm filming this video in November and it's actually 50 degrees and beautiful. It's a beautiful fall day. Sometimes it snows in October, which it did this year and it did last year, and sometimes it doesn't. But we'll just say winter starts around the end of October, beginning of November, and it will go all the way through January, February, March, sometimes April, if it's a long winter, it can be snowing through April, sometimes even May, sometimes even June some years. But on average, winter is about, we'll just say, the end of October 
to about March. And then spring comes where things are green, things are blooming, things are melting, the sun is coming out, and then it gets windy. Spring here is very windy. And with that, the air is much cleaner. If you're used to living in a bigger city with smog and that like pollution, just always sitting around, that hazy yellow. We don't have that here in Idaho Falls because the wind kicks it right on out. So that was something that I, I didn't fully prepare myself for when I moved here was how windy it really is, but it's mostly in the spring. We do have windy days throughout the year, but I would say the windiest time is in that springtime. Then around late June through the end of September is your summer and it's beautiful and people flock here for the summers. They make the summer's worth it because sometimes the winters are long. And so the summers here are so fun. There are so many activities like rodeos and the largest fireworks show on this side of the Mississippi. You've got state fairs, farmers markets every single Saturday, music scene multiple times a week where you can do open mic nights, local bands, big bands as well. There's a lot to do here in the summer and people really take advantage of it. Of course, I forgot to mention, hiking, kayaking, swimming in the lakes, fishing, so many outdoor recreational activities that people flock here for. And so when I say what it's really like to live here in the summer, that's that's really what it's like. People are people are gone people travel with their campers and they're going to yellowstone and island park and and southern idaho and they're going to hot springs and they're spending their time outside while they can while it's sunny and while it's warm and with that said on the lines of summer it doesn't get that hot and so if you're used to something really hot like arizona and even utah gets hotter than idaho it rarely reaches 100 degrees and if it does it's just a couple days out of the year, probably in the end of August. Then we go into fall and it's beautiful. You've got the yellow and the orange and the red leaves and it's just, it's breathtaking and it, it smells like pumpkin in the air. <laughs> it's just a beautiful place. So you really do have all four seasons and it's a conservative culture. People love their guns and their God and their freedoms. And with that said, there's actually more to do here than I thought there would be here in Idaho Falls. I had no idea there were actually was so much to do. I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be more country, more desolate, more boring, but that's actually, actually false. The only problem with me saying that is the locals don't want you to know that. They want to keep it a kind of like a little secret because they want to keep it a tight-knit community. They want to keep it conservative. They don't want things to change. It really is a wonderful place to be. So if you're thinking about moving to Idaho Falls or the surrounding area somewhere in Eastern Idaho, I'll be happy to help make that move. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, comment below, get a hold of me somehow, and I'll be happy to answer any other questions that you might have. Well, there you have it. That's what it's like really living in Idaho Falls. Till next time. Bye guys. If you're new to my channel and you want to know all there is to know about Idaho Falls and the surrounding areas, I'm talking the good, the bad, the weird, the weather, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be the first to know about all things Idaho Falls. My name is Annika Wilder and I'm a local real estate agent here in Idaho Falls. And if you're looking to move next week or next year, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'll be happy to help.